Previously on Plotty Time. That are called Dead Echo. They take themselves out of the equation and become space pirates. Oh, keep your humanity, man. <laughs> Classic Grayson. I yeah. know. Seriously. Not worrying about anybody else, just caring about the puss. Everyone and welcome to Potty Time, the podcast where we three gamers discuss video game stories in detail with all the necessary and appropriate backlash. On one side of the table, we have Chump Slap. I got news for you, sister. Settling is for potato chips. <laughs> On the other side of the table is Dr. Scientist. I finally learned the lyrics to Informer while they convened and agreed on me. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, I'm Papa Scotch, and as I always say, when I'm around you, I kind of feel like I'm on drugs. Not that I do drugs, unless you do drugs, in which case I do them all the time, all of them. <laughs> Welcome to Potty Time. Constantly saying that. Yeah, all the time. Can't get enough of it. So, <laughs> can't get um, enough of it. Can't get enough of it. So let's start with our new segment we introduced last week, which is... Papa Scotch fucks up. Papa Scotch's correction crevice. <laughs> 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 thanks for the thanks thanks just it was a uh, this week only one massive uh mistake is when i s- tried to say i believe the phrase was google army <laughs> <laughs> i said google marmy and then you guys both called me out on it and i said that's bullshit that's not what i fucking said well i listened to the tape and that's exactly <laughs> what i said <laughs> uh, never question what we yeah. say so, Man, and we only call you out on the really stupid stuff. Yeah. Well, th- what's important is that you guys call me out immediately for slipping on that one word. Appreciate <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Nobody ever Appreciate fucks it. up on this podcast. Oh, I plan on saying Marmy a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and leave <laughs> Papa Scotch's correction crevice. And let's go ahead and burrow into what we did last week. Uh, let's start with you, Dr. Scientist. We've been playing, watching, doing what's well, going on. I watched some more Doctor Who. That's about it. And I uh, platinum Lego Avengers and Indivisible. And Indivisible? You had two platinums this week? Yeah. Well, I had a day off from work, so I Whoa. had to do something. Oh, Indivisible. Is that, that a boy? math game? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you recommend either of those games? Any, just uh, Lego's any... is exactly the same as any other Lego game. Indivisible is good if you like action RPG type stuff, but it was kind of easy. Is Indivisible turn-based? No. Is it side scrolling? Yes. Is it a Metroidvania? No. <laughs> oh, not, almost not got him. Oh, it kind of is. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, I'm listening again. <laughs> yeah, you can you can call it a Metroidvania. I've become a little bit of a Metroidvania expert since we started <laughs> doing this podcast. So sure has. He's getting his BA. Yeah, my Bachelor of Arts in Metroidvania. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, other than that, I worked. Oh. Oh, it must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you guys have all these days off. I had one day off and I was about to kill myself. And I beat two games. Don't think I'm not about to kill myself every day. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever, remember that old show like Andy Richter controls the universe? It was on. Yeah. There was one episode where he's like, he lives next to two college guys. And he's like, mm-hmm. man, those guys have great lives. I wonder what they do all day, every day. And it just cut to a scene of them like sitting on the couch, smacking themselves in the head. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so bored. <laughs> Is that what you do? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, all the free time isn't really worth much if you don't have anything to do. Or motivation. Or motivation. But you know what we do have? Work. A free trial of HBO, Fuck which yeah. leads me to <laughs> our next person, Chump Slap. What have you been doing this week? Playing, watching, doing what's up? Well, I finished Control. Nice. Oh, yeah? Boy. Didn't numb it because I, I didn't feel like What do you it. mean? It's like the easiest game in the world to numb. Because I didn't feel like doing all those those emergency things. You have to do like five of them. I think it's 25 or 20. That's the uh, bonus things, like kill 20 guys. Oh, yeah. Whatever. I didn't feel like doing that. So I left that. Do them by accident. (laughs) All right. Anyway. Whatever, man. I didn't numb it. All right? (laughs) Pathetic. (laughs) Absolutely pathetic. No, scientists, we still have to treat him like a normal person, even if he didn't know. Yeah, I think, so that, let's just, you know. I, I think that game has like a 67% platinum rate, too. I highly doubt it. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. I'm looking Maybe it up right something now. something else for the fucking correction crevice. It's not. Yeah. All right, I, I knew I was exaggerating for a little bit. It's no 7%. Shit. 7%. Yeah, it's close. Minus 60. 
Anyway, I guess I won't Actually, talk about video games anymore. It's uh, 43%. Yeah, I knew it was kind of high. Any hoodles, as you were saying, Chump Slap. Well, I played Onechimbara Z2 Chaos for a little bit. It's about time. Yeah, I know. I don't think I understand the game at all, though. I mean, it's exactly the same as the first one, isn't it? No, it's totally different. Oh! You got four people at a time, and you like tag in. It's like Tech and Tag meets on Nechimbara. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just fully and forever unimpressed by everything. You're starting to sound like scientists. No. I mean, it's a slapper. Okay. It's got to be. It's pretty slappy, but it's just, I didn't understand. <laughs> it's just <laughs> button mashing. Did you listen to our uh, second episode we ever did in Uchibara to catch up on the story? No, it goes over it pretty well. It reminded oh. me of a lot of stuff. The killer whale? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the whale. It just like flops up on that platform, tries to slap you with its tail. That was yes. that game, right? Yeah. Yeah. What other? You're on like an aircraft carrier? Yeah. What other game could it be? <laughs> <laughs> it was the other bikini samurai game. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Of course. Well, that's moving on. I watched the movie Swallow. You guys see this one? You hear about this? I've heard about it. Isn't it the, the one about the one? lady who just eats stuff? Yeah, she like gets pregnant and then she starts eating like thumbtacks and paper clips and Is shit. Is it a true story? It's based on a true illness. Well, I know. That's why I asked it was a true story. Pika or whatever the fuck yeah. it's called. Eh, it was all right. Not great. Moving on. <laughs> Didn't sound very great. <laughs> I watched this movie called The Fair. F-A with an E at the end? Yeah, F-A-R-E. It's about this guy who's a taxi driver, and he just picks up this lady and drives her, and then there's like an electrical storm, and she disappears from his cab. That sounds interesting. And it resets over and over and over again until he figures it out what's going on. Sort it's, of like coherence in a way? I don't remember that movie. No. Do you, are you talking Groundhog Day style? Just keeps doing the same thing over and over? Yeah. Does he learn to play gotcha. piano? No, because he's stuck in a taxi just driving it constantly. That's terrible. Constantly picking up the same person over and over. Oh, that'd be hell. Well, yeah, it's interesting, though. It's pretty neat. Like Triangle where he's in hell. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's worth a watch. But speaking of seven-day free trial of HBO. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is what I came here for, son. <laughs> I'm only on day three. Really, day two and a half. But I got True Detective Season 3 out of the way. It's damn good. I don't know if you guys Did I seen watch it. that? Which one was that? I only ever watched the first one because everybody told me the second one sucked. Oh, I did. No, I did the watch that. The second one wasn't good. First and third are good stories. It's really good storytelling. I watched the finally got to see the last season of Silicon Valley. Well, what would you think of how they ended it? Uh, it seemed abrupt. Like it was only seven episodes. Did they all catch coronavirus and die? Something like that. That would be a good ending. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wait, uh, spoil these, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how long ago was that? Just this last year. Yeah, it's more than long enough. Yeah, well, it was good. And then I watched, uh, what else was on HBO? Big Trouble in Little China. Nice. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you wasted your HBO thing on Wasted? wasted? You watch your mouth. Jeez. He could... He could have watched it at any time. He's wasting his no, free trial. No, it wasn't on anything else streaming. It's got to be on Plex. I don't think it is. I doubt I doubt you. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I watched it, <laughs> and it's still good. How'd you get up there? <laughs> wasn't easy. <laughs> but I just I got uh, six episodes deep in the last season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Now, that's my next. Okay. Mountain to climb. Nice. Uh, would, I would like to also suggest Watchmen because that's fantastic. Yeah, you definitely should watch, right. watch The Outsider. Okay. Outsider. And I thought there was another one I wanted to. I wanted to see the, the fabulous gemstones or whatever. Oh, the righteous gemstones? Yeah. I watched three episodes and then I bailed on it, but I don't remember why or what happened in the episodes. I should give that another chance. Just ignore what I said. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to have plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... Well, you only have a couple more days. Oh, five more days yeah. of nothing to do. Watchmen's be, Watchmen will be a day. Have you, know, you watched uh, Westworld at all? I didn't never watch. How many seasons are there now? First one was good. I only. I watched, liked the first season, but the second they one just wasn't, started and, three. I saw that. It's like in the real world and stuff. It's like 
Blade Runner future shit. Yeah. They should have yeah. stopped that. And where did Jesse season. Pinkman come from? Is there like a meth West world? Yes, there is. There's, oh. a, there's a. It's called meth there's world. A, <laughs> meth world. <laughs> A.K.A. Florida. You're welcome for that. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll check it out if I have enough time. I don't know. I'd definitely put it at the bottom of the list because you've yeah. already seen season one. Yeah, and I don't. I didn't really enjoy it. And that's the best one. But, yeah, that's that's me. That's me in a nutshell. What did you do while you were at home, uh, Papa Scotch? Yeah, what did you do? Besides work your ass off. P.S. Well, thanks for asking. Um, I wa- I started watching a sh- well, okay video games first. I was playing this game. I got four syllables for you. Division two. You guys got to check this game out. <laughs> Never heard. Never of heard it. of it. <laughs> what What's it no, like? It's, it's brand new. First of all, it's not over a year old. I can't believe you're still playing that. Well, I had the new shit. I'm still. I'm almost done with it, and then I'm putting it away. Until the next nope. new. Until shit the next comes new out. shit comes out. Until yeah. the next new shit. Did you get I'll your suspenders that. yet? <laughs> no, I didn't get my. <laughs> All right. Okay. First of all, it was a holster. <laughs> Secondly, I got that months ago. Uh, no, I'm finishing up the New York expansion, and once I'm done with that, I'm putting it back down. All right. I, I'm I putting just, it back uh, down until the next stuff comes out. Until the next stuff comes out, yes, of course. Uh, I also played a little bit of Shell, as always. Obviously. Uh, which is NHL 20. What's NHL 19 called? What's shell. NHL mean? <laughs> it's just all Shell. You know what? It doesn't matter. That was my gaming experience. <laughs> wow, so, playing two games you've been playing for the last six months. I know, right? I'm pretty cool. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking cool. Uh, no, but I plan to start Doom Eternal soon, today or tomorrow. I've heard good things and I've seen good things, but I never played the first Doom. So wait till know. Tuesday so we can start together. <laughs> okay, I'll wait till Tuesday. Sounds good. I don't know. I have so much other stuff going on. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Well, I also, watching stuff, I started watching... Dave. Oh Have yeah, you guys I heard of this too. show. I watched the first four episodes or whatever's out. Yeah, I heard of it. I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's a semi autobiographical story about the rapper Little Dicky, whom I'd never even heard of until this show came out. And then I checked out his catalog, and you know, it made me laugh. Reminds me a lot of the Bloodhound Gang. Yeah, kind of. And Frank Sinatra. Yeah. No, no, no. JJ Sinatra. <laughs> exactly. Yes. It's yeah. actually when I watch episodes of that show, it reminds me of that night over and over again. <laughs> just like the fair. Just keep doing the same thing over and over. Ooh, exactly. See how I tie that in? Wow. Yeah. I'll Pretty fight every one of you out in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely the first time, and it might have been the last time. I honestly saw someone get booed off stage. Yeah, I've never seen it before or since. And he wanted to fight everybody in the place, which was awesome. Well, what else yeah. would he do? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what men do, right? They <laughs> offer to fight every single person in the parking lot after they get booed off stage. Uh, I loved when everybody was chanting asshole. <laughs> asshole. Asshole. Uh, good times. I don't even remember what led up to that. He sucked. He sucked. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we went to a show, God knows when, I don't know. Oh, um, at least a probably 15 decade years ago. ago. <laughs> yeah. A long time ago. It was a Bloodhound Gang show in Allentown, Pennsylvania at the now closed Crocodile Rock. And Bloodhound Gang were playing and some rapper named J.J. Sinatra opened for them and he got booed <laughs> off stage. That's the whole story. He, Great he got story. through like a song and a half before he wanted to fight everybody. <laughs> I think I remember him playing a song. He did one song. And everyone was kind of like, okay. They were being polite after the first one. They're like, okay. All right. And then I don't I don't remember specifically if he played the exact song again. The beat was extremely similar. Yeah, it was almost as if it was the same exact thing. And everyone's like, okay, come on. And then he did it again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when he started losing people. people. And it was also one of those things where it's like he didn't have a DJ. He didn't have a band. It was just him standing up there playing a CD. Yeah, it was like nobody cheered after the first two songs. Yeah. Why are you still doing this to yourself? Which, yeah, it didn't help. That, uh... <laughs> and the booing got louder and louder and louder. Yeah. Man, <sighs> he sucks. Anyway. <laughs> Great. Uh, that side, that journey was worth it. Anyway, so. <laughs> Hope he's not a listener. <laughs> yeah, JJ Sinatra, if you're out there, send us a message. We'd love to get you on the pod. We'd love to. We know you're not doing anything. So. Um, 
What else did I watch? I watched uh, that net not Netflix, the Amazon Prime show Hunters with Al Pacino. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, meh. It was a hard meh. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I kind of wanted to see it, and then I was like, I don't really like Al Pacino that much. It was... Uh, it. I didn't like it because it took a very real event and made an exploitation thing about it, which is fine. I don't give a shit about that. Yeah. But then it tried to, like, use the sympathy of the situation to, like, score emotional points in the show, and I'm like, okay, this is just cheap now. Yeah. Uh. It, was, it wasn't fun. great. There were twists, and it was stupid. I, I mean, if you like seeing exploitative murder of Nazis, then go for it. Yeah, I'd rather watch. I'd rather watch regular murder of Nazis. bastards. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I also watched The Hunt, which was another that movie that got shelled back in September. Yeah, I almost watched it. Oh, like the most deadly, the deadliest game yeah. or something. Is it is it worth the time? I mean, no. I thought right. that. The the lead in it, Betty Gilpin from Glow, she was great. She was really good. Isn't like and, Ethan uh, Suppley in it and uh, Emma Roberts? Emma Roberts is in it. Ethan Suppley's in it. And who's the other one? That Oh, Glenn Howerton's in it. Wow. Well, I yeah. like Emma Roberts, so that's kind of why I went to watch it. But. I, like I mean, it's... Howerton. it's um, If you're watching it just for Emma Roberts, you probably shouldn't watch it. <laughs> but I'll say that. Fair. What, she died in like the first 10 minutes? Uh, Spoiler. Uh, yes. All right, That's then I'm exactly, not going to watch it. Exa- it might not even be 10 minutes. Well, then you wouldn't waste much time. Is, is just, like, <laughs> like yeah, just watch that screen. part. Just watch her like one extended scene and bail out. Like, oh, that was nice. And then... <laughs> but, um, would you... I mean, it's pretty much right up your alley, Chomp Slap. So, All right. But wait until you're done out. with your free trial on HBO. I know, I can't, wait, can't yeah, waste right. any time. <laughs> Yeah, I totally understand. He's got it on in the background while we're recording. <laughs> and then the only other stuff, I, uh, only other thing, I started that devs show on Hulu. Oh, is the that Alex any good? Garland one. It's fucking weird. I know. That's why I thought I might dig Devs? It. Yeah. D-E-V-S? Yeah. Like game devs? Yes. The whole story is, well, not the whole story, but to give you a quick rundown, uh, Ron Swanson, who has a real name, I don't know he doesn't. <laughs> okay, so Ron Swanson is like um, a Wozniak type guy who's very into the engineering and he leads like a Google type place, like a big tech company. Does he lead the Google Marmy? <laughs> it's like the Google Marmy. Yes. All right. And uh, he has this super secret project. It's called Devs. Uh, and they're like in this own other secure facility. They're not allowed to bring anything in or out. They're doing this crazy secret project. And then. Uh, Basically, the first episode, a guy gets promoted to devs. He goes in, tries to tell someone about it, and then gets murdered. And then you slowly are like finding out what devs actually is. Okay. And uh, it's supposed to... I don't want to spoil anything, but it changes like everything in the world. Mm, interesting. Is it, like, is it like the movie NPN? Or PN... Oh, what the fuck was it called? N- NPR? PNP. I don't know what that is. It's a computer science thing. UIT guys probably wouldn't know it. P equals NP. Right. Yes, that one. There was a movie called that. It was kind of. No, was Emma Robertson? It. No, Emma Roberts <laughs> wasn't in it. <laughs> She's it was not like, in everything. <laughs> it was just like okay. five guys in a conference room, and they found out a way to solve it. Oh. No, I never saw it. It's pretty good. But uh, any hoodles. So, devs, if you like Alex Garland's stuff, like Annihilation or... Uh, what was that artificial intelligence one he did? AI. AI. <laughs> uh, no, that was Steven Ex Machina. Spielberg. Ex Machina. If you like those two, then this is right up your alley. Really? Yes. Because I like those two, and what you described didn't really seem good. I just, well, you know, maybe I didn't describe it so well because I didn't want to spoil anything, you know? I'll check out the first episode. Uh, what's it on? After five days. Hulu. Okay. Uh, and that's all I got. I've caught up on other bullshit shows, but they don't matter. So now I am. I think next I'm going to do the second season of Castle Rock because I haven't watched that yet. Oh, I'm ca- that's, that's, another up one. On a- that's another one they should have stopped after one season. Wasn't the second season not good? It was okay. Mm. It didn't make me want to watch a third. Make your own opinion. Mm. Yeah. 
do that because you don't. I work mean, I'm in still anyway. gonna watch it. Scientist is a hater, but well, yeah. There's a lot of stuff I like. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff you hate. <laughs> a lot more <laughs> there's, stuff. Yeah, there's more <laughs> stuff you hate than than like. Name one. Us. Star Wars. <laughs> well, yeah, Star Wars is terrible. You're right, and See, both you guys are bad. So. <laughs> Nailed there. it. All right, besides Any- you and Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Any noodles, that's what I got for this week. Uh, how about we hop over and do some news? Is there any left without? There is a uh, couple things to go over real quick. Uh, supposedly this week, uh, Netflix got throttled in Great Britain because they were, quote unquote, affecting the infrastructure of the internet. Well, yeah, I can believe that. Sounds like bullshit to me. Well, it if everybody's bullshit. at home and trying to watch HD. Yeah, but there's only so much you can do. Mm. These tech right. companies. Well, they got people like oh, IT guys working. But. You could also invest in your infrastructure to a point that can handle it. That might also be a good idea too. But now that costs money. Yeah. Are you going to pay they for can't it? Do it Are your taxes no. going to pay for it? <laughs> no, because he's not in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Any, we had a okay, war about that. YouTube also followed suit where uh, basically by default standard definition videos play. You can event, You can watch HD if you click on it, but... You know, I, it defaults to standard. I have all my stuff set to SD anyway because I know, but they got rid of the data cap for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, Blue Ridge still sucks though. Well, no shit. But <laughs> I hate on Blue Ridge too. There's another one. Yeah, who? Doesn't? Yeah, but that, I, I get that. One. <laughs> like that, that, like that makes sense. Find me someone who loves Blue Ridge. <laughs> yeah, there you go. If you can't, if you don't personally know two people that don't hate it, then I wouldn't call you a hater. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, also, ne- uh, Nintendo service went down briefly during the coronavirus lockdown. Oh, so they're back up now. But there was uh, PlayStation Network hasn't really been affected, or Xbox Network hasn't been affected. But they are showing massive spikes in traffic because everyone's uh, locked at home. Yeah, what yeah, else? I, are you gonna I do? wish I could be locked at home. <laughs> no, you no, don't. You don't. <laughs> so there was the other big new. Well, that was just the little shit. The big news that came out is, and I'm really not going to go into detail because I really don't give a fuck about this, but uh, PlayStation 5 released, PlayStation Sony released a bunch of technical specifications for what the PS5 is going to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to summarize it for you guys right now. It does a lot Good. of T-flops and there's a lot of math. All yeah. right. Ooh, this T-flops. machine can do some fucking math, bro. Like Whoa. fast. So yeah. it's like a really good calculator. It's like it's an eight times calculator. as many T-flops as... <laughs> PS4. So it's better, you're saying? Yeah. Yes. Neat. They can think faster. Wow. Um, and none of that matters. If you if no. you nerds want to go read that, go ahead. Have at it. It's literally everywhere right now. Well, way to alienate but, our base. Yeah, fuck them. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only piece of news that came out of this besides well, the, the thing is a solid state drive, which is going to be nice, but they talked a lot about PS4 compatibility. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they said the majority of PS4 games will be playable on the PlayStation 5. That's bullshit. Most of the top 100. Yeah, they said originally most of the top 100 played will be available. They said, okay. First of all, they said most of the top 100 will be playable at launch. And everyone's like, well, what the fuck does that mean? Do you mean you're only doing those? And then they went and said, no, eventually they're all going to be on or, you know, the majority of games will be on. But I guess in order to do some backwards compatibility, they have to work with the developers a little bit to get it to work. Mm. And some of those places don't exist anymore. So those games may not be coming. Oh. Yeah, because it doesn't matter to me because I don't think I'm going to play a PS4 game once a PS5 comes out. Yeah, as long as my PS4 still works. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would... Also, no one's talking. I assume it's going to be digital and disc-based games you'll be able to play. I just, I'd hope so. So it'd be cool to... Definitely during that transition period when you get your PS5 and there's like three games out. It's going to be nice to play off them, but I mean, moving forward, how much are we going to play PS4 games on the PlayStation 5? You know, yeah. You're right. It's not like I've touched my PS3 since yeah. my PS4. I, I did once to upload a Blur of Borderlands character. Oh, yes. I, I almost got it out to upload the other one. I played uh, the last thing I did with any kind of time on the PS3 was uh, I played Lollipop Chainsaw. Oh yeah, that's true. I did that too. And I really want to go back and play Splatterhouse because that just looks fucking fun. Yeah. Maybe I'll get to it because I'm all of my social engagements have been canceled. Wow, Mister, I have social yeah. engagements to Wait cancel. A, humble brag. That was that was a very 
highfalutin way of saying playing rec league hockey and going to movies by myself. <laughs> All right, so fair enough. Has there been any news about like uh, movie releases being delayed or anything? There's some that you could just rent straight from Amazon now. But like, I was thinking like in the theaters rented. Black Widow and Wonder Woman come out in like a month. Uh, yes, Black Widow got pushed. Uh, another big one got pushed. Uh, Quiet Place Two got pushed. Our They're just not releasing them because movie theaters are closed. That's a great question. Uh, is there even a drive-in outside of Pennsylvania anywhere? There's one in California that I know of. Yeah, there's one in Florida. I think there's not many left. <laughs> yeah. You open. Yeah, like, yeah, just stay in your fucking car. I know a couple of years ago, like Pennsylvania had the most of any state. Yeah, we got and like it was like six, two, and three in driving <laughs> distance. Yeah, that's something you really don't understand when you're living there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have three different drive-ins you can go to. And there's a couple and that like, closed down. Yeah, that's yeah exactly after the couple closed down. <laughs> there's only three now. But, uh, all right, that's all I got. Oh, no, I have one other piece of news. GameStop being a bunch of scumbags. They've always been. They have thing always been. They, uh, the coronavirus locked down every non-essential store in some places, and then GameStop came out and said, well, we're not going to close anything because we are, and this is a direct quote, essential retail. Yeah, but they're not. In these <laughs> trying times. <laughs> well, they tried to pull the fact that, well, a lot of people are working from home, so we sell stuff to use in your home, so it would be wrong for us <laughs> to close down. Well, they just got closed down yesterday, didn't they? Yeah. Or at least in PA. They finally complied yesterday. Um, I have the direct quote. Do you want to hear what they said in the memo? Uh, I'm sure it's just going to make me angry. Yeah, let's do it then. <laughs> oh. Due to the products we carry that enable and enhance our customers' experience in working from home, we believe GameStop is classified as essential retail and therefore is able to remain open during this time. Capitalism at its best. You know it. Yeah, and they like don't give a fuck about their own employees like at all. They're like, no, you're going to work. Kind of like my job. Kind of like exactly. most jobs. Well, my job is essential, but... Ah, so... <laughs> anyway, eventually they uh, did close... They said they were not going to close down, then they closed down a store in California, and now, as of yesterday, the 21st, they shut down all their stores. Good. And then one last quick piece of news I forgot. Uh, Rockstar is working. They're very... Rockstar, the people who make Grand Theft Auto and all those games, obviously, very secretive with what projects they're working on for some reason. And uh, there were rumors that they're working on another game, which I don't know why that's a rumor. There's always They're always working on a game. <laughs> but uh, they just put out, they previously released Red Dead Redemption 2. Everyone was thinking the next game they're working on is Grand Theft Auto 5, and now the rumors are coming out that it's actually L.A. Noir. <gasps> wow, L.A. Noir is the only game I actually like by them. Grand Theft Auto is great. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto is great, and I'm bummed it wouldn't be that. But but they're still it. milking it. Yeah, yeah everybody's still, still playing it. Grand Theft Auto Four. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Do you think? Okay, which do you think will happen first? Grand Theft Auto Six, or you know the next Grand Theft Auto game, or they'll port Grand Theft Auto Five to PlayStation Five. They'll port Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, 5. definitely. Wow, that means it's been around for the three goddamn generations. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> so that is. <laughs> is L.A. Noir going to be the same dude? No, he died. Is They are thinking... The rumors... Okay, the whole reason this rumor came about is because I guess when you make enough like videos on YouTube, it'll recommend a playlist. Mm -hmm. And someone at Rockstar was putting together a bunch of 80s-inspired stuff, and they labeled them as the L.A. Noir 2 playlist. Oh, so that's nothing. So, well, it's coming directly from... It's. I mean, it's still very speculative. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wonder if they're going to do it like a true detective. A completely different thing. Probably. That would be nice. Makes sense. Maybe. Different era. Could be. And why noir? They did mention how uh, all of these songs that were on the YouTube playlists for 80s music were already licensed by Take Two. Wait a minute. 80s? Oh. Yeah. Oh. L.A. in the 80s. wonder if it's like That's Zodiac awesome. or Son of Sam. Son of Sam was New York, right? Yeah. Wait. Somebody was in San Francisco, right? Well, Ramirez Zodiac. was, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. And Ramirez, yeah. 86. I know that from... There we uh, go. American we Horror Story. We all know our murders. Eddie hey, Hoodles, how about we get into the actual game? We've bullshitted long enough, yeah, right? You, you two can explain it to me. I'll wait. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't. Uh, this is going to be fun, This is then. so confusing. 
Well, uh, the game we are going to be talking about today is the PlayStation 4 Classic Neo. <laughs> Three-year-old classic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're all classics. What are you talking about? It was uh, released February 7th, 2017 for PlayStation 4 and PC, developed by Team Ninja and published by Sony for PlayStation and for or by Tecmo for PC. How about that? Tecmo's still around. The makers of the Super Bowl? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. They merged with another company called Kawaii, and now they're a Kawaii Tecmo. Huh. Hmm. So we learned that. something today. Yeah. It is an action game slash platformer adventure written by Kazunori Taguchi and Masahiko Kochi. Is always my favorite part. Dude, there's so many I'm names getting better. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting better. You got you to gotta say that, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Mr. Chumpslap, this was your pick. Sure was. So how about how about you give us a uh, a quick little rundown and lead into the story here? Okay, picture if you will, sixteen hundred exactly, I guess. Yeah. The late Sengoku period. Yep, of course, everyone knows that. Yeah, I know. I mean, do I have to explain all the actual history in this game? That's no. part of the story. No, I don't. <laughs> but. There's yokai appearing all over Japan, fucking shit up, because Japan... And what are yokai? They're evil spirits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you sound like I'm doing a fucking book report and you're the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently there's like a civil war in Japan between two factions. I think there's only two factions. Yeah, yeah, because they kind of try and go get help from other ones. Yeah. So there, wait. There's two main factions, and they're all trying to get like under bosses to join them, right? Sort of. That's yeah, like the yeah. yeah, just like towns and shit, I guess. But anyway, you're William, a blonde Irishman, of course. Of course. And you go to Japan to pursue your enemy, Edward Kelly, who stole. And why is he your enemy? <laughs> I'm getting to it. Ah. <laughs> he stole your spirit. Some Irish name. Swari, Swar, Swarsi. You know, I heard him say it a couple of times, and I still don't know how to pronounce it. Swarice. Swarice, I guess. Swarice, yeah. I'm, no, I'm right there with you. It's, uh, he pronounced it at least 15 to 20 times. <laughs> yeah. And I, I didn't pick it up either. But that's his, like, Guardians. guardian spirit who protects him, and he will never die as long as the spirit is around or alive, I guess. Gets your... Rebirth mechanic. Yeah, it explains why you have so many lives in the game. Um, her the name is pronounced Shersha. That sounds Shershi. 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 Shersha. Shershi. Shersha. Shershi. Shersha. Shershi. Those fucking Irish. It's not even close. That's like, not how it's spelled. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I'm gonna say Swarese anyway. Yeah. Well, it's like uh, you know how that town around Boston is Westchester. Worcester. Worcester. And it's called Wooster. Yeah. <laughs> like that doesn't. Or like no Seamus, thanks. how that's spelled. Yeah. Yeah, no thank you to any of that. Anyway. All right, so Reese and William. All right, so. Well, she also can uh, find the Amrita Stones. Yes, which is why she was stolen by Edward Kelly. Kelly. And you were. Which, oh, yep, go ahead. I don't understand already. <laughs> so the, the ma- whole point the of magical the magical stones that England but, and right. Spain are using in their war. And they hire these guys to look for them. So is the whole point of the game, I'm, and I'm broad stroking here, is to get the stones. Well, no. That's your job, but your, the whole point of the game is to get Suarez back. No, your job right. was to get the stones. Yeah. And then you were imprisoned when you got back with the stones. And that's where the game begins. You break out of prison, and you run into Kelly, who steals your guardian spirit. He works and then, for England? Kelly works for, we don't know yet, but oh. it's revealed later. Well, I mean, you're imprisoned in England, so you work for... Yeah, you work for the queen. You're working for the queen to get the stones. And when you bring them back, she imprisons you, so nobody knows that you're, they're using special magic stones from Japan. Which is an interesting tactic. Yeah. Yeah? Well, that's the queen for you. I guess so. You're right. This is a true story. Yep. <laughs> And you break out of prison, you run into Kelly, he steals your guardian spirit because he's like, I want to go get some Amrita. 
Yeah. And then he kind of takes it easily. Yeah, he just fucking whips his guardian yokai on it. I don't know what the hell that thing is. He has a snake. I assume they're all guardian spirits. Yeah. His name is Ouroboros. Yes. But he was never eating his own tail, so I mean, didn't make sense. They but, don't show that. But he steals it and disappears. Just whoosh. <laughs> goes to Japan, I guess. He can travel to Japan like that. Yeah, he doesn't have to take a boat or anything. He just teleports, I yeah. guess. But then you're like, okay, now I got to go to Japan. Because I guess he, he knew. Oh, I guess he knew why he took it. Yeah, he's going. To, I guess Emrita's only in Japan. Yeah. So you sail to Japan on one of five ships. The only one that makes it, apparently. What are the five ships' names? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. I know yours was love. Flying Dutchman. Uh, do I have it written down? The Flying Dutchman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I don't have it written down. Yeah, yours was love. That's all I remember. Yeah. And he's like, oh, ironic. There's a place at war. One was called Hope. I remember that. Yeah. It's hope, love, charity. Chastity and fecundity. <laughs> yes. Sneezy. <laughs> but anyway, you finally make it to Japan, go on shore, and you start killing people. Yeah. Because that's what you do. And you eventually meet somebody. Yes. After killing a bunch of people on your way, mm-hmm. I don't even know how you're just walking. Well, you're killing, you're killing like demons, the yokai. No, they're oni. Well, I think they're all... Are those demons too? Yeah. Okay. So you kill some Oni, run into this guy named Hanzo Hattori. He's like, you can kick ass. Help me. Yeah, he's like, you're pretty good at this. What do you want here? And you're like, yeah, I got to find my guardian spirit. And he's like, oh, that's good. I can help you with that. But you got to help me but some. But you got to help me kill some of these Onis. Is that racist? <laughs> Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. (laughs) But he also wants you to help join his side of the war. Yeah. He's like, yeah, help me out. We got to take a side. And apparently you're like, okay. Yeah. Because this guy's got a cat in his jacket. Yeah. It's a (laughs) Nekomata. It's a real cat to begin with. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, would you trust? This guy's got a cat in his jacket. Who wouldn't trust the guy with a cat in his jacket? Yeah. I mean, he's got samurai swords and he's got a cat in his jacket. What's not to like? Legit to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bad people don't have cats. <laughs> but then the cat turns into a cat spirit. What's, what was it called? Nekomata. Nekomata. And it tells you about the how the war ravaged the land and how yokai appeared. Yeah, because when you like see someone's guardian spirit, I guess you kind of like absorb them a little bit and they tell you the history of the person. Yeah, that's what I got out of it. You played the game, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't finish it. Oh. Classic slapper. <laughs> it's not classic a classic slap, slap move. <laughs> yeah. It's a slap move. <laughs> it's definitely a slap move. But yeah, he works for uh, Tokugawa Ayuzasu. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which oh, is the, one of the main guys, right? Yeah. And he's the one you're supposed to back in help of this civil war, even though you have no business doing any of that. Yeah, but you need his help to try and hunt down Edward Kelly, which is your whole main mission. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's just he promised to help as long as you promised to help. But then there's an ox spirit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he takes you to meet somebody. Oh, don't do you have to help him find Tashibana Mushig Munish Munishege, I guess. Munishege. <laughs> I don't know. Munishiga? He's like, help me find him. Yeah, because he's lost and his wife's looking for him. Yeah, because my wife, Ginchijo. <laughs> his wife, because they both have... Oh boy. There's two... They each have a wolf cub guardian oh, spirit. Oh, yes, that's together. right. There's like a pink and a blue one or something. Yeah. Yes. Cute little spirits running around as you're killing Oni. So then you go and help. I guess you help. And then you find out, oh, no, it's not actually Tochibana. <laughs> <laughs> well, who is it then? It's the other white guy in Japan, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> the other white guy in Japan. <laughs> this is going to get problematic. All right. Oh, let's hope not. So that's Kelly, and he's like, aha, I fooled you. So you beat his ass, and then I don't know why you don't just beat his ass, take it to shit right there. Yeah, he kind of just, 
you fight him a lot, it seems, and every time you get to him, he uh, laughs and just leaves. Yeah, and then he just whips out your shishi, shwarshi, shwarshi, and just shersha, shersha, sorries, and absorbs all the amrita around you, and he disappears again. But you do find Lord Munushiga. Munushiga? Yeah, who just so happened to be like in, in the same room. Yeah, just, just laying on out. the side. <laughs> and his wife comes up and is like, oh, thanks for saving him. Here, have this sword. And uh, I need your help to do something else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, every time fucking Kelly shows up, I just wrote tack guy. He's got all those cool tattoos. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's pretty uh, badass. They were pretty sweet. So yeah, the woman. I I also have woman gives you sword and then just like twelve question marks because she's just kind of like here take it. Yeah, it's like the first time you get the sword, but you get like random swords throughout the game. Yeah, and you can get that sword over and over again. If I remember correctly, you can create the swords after you get them. You get blueprints. I don't know. I don't fucking remember. I get this confused with Sekiro a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, all right. We're going to sail somewhere to uh, Osaka. Because that's where the main guy is again. Yeah. The fuck is his name? Ayuasu? Ayuasu. 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 I think it's Ayusha. Ayusha? Ayusha? <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Yusi. Man, this is going to be terrible. Let's call him Yusi. <laughs> all right, Yusi. Yusi. All right. Let's go, Yusi. <laughs> so you start sailing up there and then. Like every other game, just like it, you have the helicopter crash. You get Unibozu. <laughs> it's a large creature that just pops out of the sea and wrecks your ship. He doesn't even really wreck it much. He just hits it like once and twice, and then you like go around him. Yeah, but then you're like, oh, we got to go repair this. Yeah. So you pull into port, and then the, the Maori cra- clan's there. Yeah, and they're like, oh. They're like, help us out while we're... Yeah, your boat's going to be ready. Uh, do us a favor. We'll help Ayasu out in war. Or Yasi. Yeah, perfect. Sounds great. So you go, you help them out, and you run into the centipede boss. Everyone loves a good centipede boss fight. I mean, it's not a spider boss, but I guess it's cool. No, we're not there yet. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> and then, yeah, that's that was apparently doing something to the mines. So when you clear that out, it helps the Mori clan. Ah, uh, mm, that's right. So then... I guess Kelly's helping the other side of the Civil War. Yeah, which is Ishida? Ishida? I don't remember. I have it written down somewhere in all this bullshit. I know. Got it. So many I have names. so many notes. I know. This is the first two-pager. Two-pager? I, I knew uh, it was Ishida something. Okatsu? No. No, that's the woman, right? Yes. Mitsum- We're crushing Mitsumari? Yes, Mitsunari. Yeah. Yes, that sounds correct. Okay. Ashita Mitsunari. So Kelly's back in that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. But you set sail to see uh, y- Yusti again. Yeah, you're going. Your ship's finally finished after you beat this, beat all this shit. So you go to meet Yussi, and he's near Kyoto. I didn't catch the name of the town because I was trying to write down all these other names. <laughs> right. <laughs> So he's like, hey, you, what do you know, you fucking Irishman? You're no good. And then you're like, yeah, but I could see all these spirits. And he's like, no, you can't. Full shit. Like, no, really, I can. All right, well, prove yourself. Go fight the spider boss. And that's what you do. You go, we fight a spider boss. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Kick its ass. Help beat the evil spirits in the town. That's the basic premise, but yeah, yeah. And it does show a nice cutscene of uh, Kelly with the bad guys, and uh oh, we gotta we gotta open up the black arts. Yeah, so like, black arts are always bad. He's he's getting there, but then you open up the tea house, and there's a tea house. I don't remember what it did. You I just can, I just like tea with weird dude. Yeah, he's like, hey. oh wait, I have his name somewhere because I wrote down tea guy, <laughs> and he does like a, a vision type thing. Yeah. The guardian spirit type. Don Joe is the tea guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think he gives you like bonuses or something if you go to his tea hut. I don't know. It was like another thing on the map you can go to. Kind of like the, the house in 
Mario three. <laughs> oh, okay. House, you know what Perfect. I mean? Perfect. Gotcha. Yeah. No more. Uh, no more explanation but needed. They still want you to beat up some spirits. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, we got this ice butterfly lady, Yukiona, Princess No. Yeah, but it was a Yukiona spirit. But what's what's? It's the ice. It's an ice thing from Japan. Yeah. Oh, it's it's yeah. See, I didn't write down all the names of spirits because I wanted to make it clear for our listeners. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure everybody's following along with everything. Yeah. Of course. Well, you meet the ice butterfly princess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you kick her ass, and she's like, oh, thank you. I was stuck. <laughs> Thanks for kicking my ass. Yeah. That was awesome. Then you set the place on fire. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, that's warm. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, oh, th- this was... She tells her backstory and what well, like her spirit does or whatever, the butterfly. And she was Nobunaga's wife, resurrected by Kelly. Oh, yeah, because his ultimate plan is to resurrect the dead general that these guys are fighting over. Yeah. The, the land the general had. Right. It. Yeah. Odu Nobunaga. Yeah, that's his whole plan. Because he was my the whole, best. My notes just say, Lord Nobunaga, his dream was to unify the country. Yeah, and, and then my next my next line says, "But that got fucked up when she wanted to be with him forever." Yeah, he died, and then I think the warring factions are from him. Uh, okay, I I think that was it. Yeah, I think they either both of the guys wanted Yessi and Mitsunari, but they just you, wanted to take over, and yeah. then they couldn't agree. They tell you to head for Mount Hai. Man, yeah. I wish I would have wrote down the. Phonetic pronunciations instead of what they wrote, said. Welcome to my world. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is where you meet Tenkai. Yeah. Yes. And he's going to guide you to Kelly. Who has a weird tortoise type guardian spirit, doesn't he? I don't really remember like what Tenkai was. snake one, kind of. Like a dragon almost. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly which is one. Is this where you you hear from William, or William hears Hanzo? Saying basically like I know this looks shady as fuck, but it's all good. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, yes. but go to the mountain. But he's like, I can't tell you why yet, but it's cool. Yeah, and you're like, ah, oh, we got to go up to the mountain because that's where he is. What's he doing up there? I don't know. It's just there's a lot of Amrita up there. Yeah, and a lot of yokai are attacking the town. So you run into Kelly at the top of the mountain. He's grabbing Amrita, and everyone's like, "Dude, stop that! You're gonna let go of this, the evil spirits." And he's hey. like, "Oh." I was just here for the Amrita, but that's cool too. Yeah. So he takes all the Amrita, uh, unlocking the seal that was holding the evil spirits at bay. And right, right. Nekomata says, I got this. I'm going to sacrifice myself and absorb all these evil spirits. And then all you got to do is kill me. <laughs> and then they'll be gone. Yeah, he becomes a white tiger after that. Yeah. That's a boss fight. And once you kill him, your boy, Tenkai. Yep. And I guess it was just Tenkai. Uh, there's somebody else with yeah, him. Yeah, there's somebody else with him too, but I, I, wasn't there Okatsu? I don't have the name. Okatsu? Maybe, yeah. I thought she was with him. Yeah. Well, they reseal it up. Boom. Crisis averted. But now, Nekumata's gone. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that was... Hanzo's spirit, right? Yeah. So now he doesn't have a guardian spirit. No, I think you can absorb guardian spirits too. Like use. Yeah, them. you got you get to use whichever ones you want once you get to them. So then they want you to help with more problems. Yeah, of course they do. So there's more spirits, and then there's there's a a frog who smokes a pipe. Yeah, because why not? Yep. I remember that boss being a pain in the ass. And then a, I have a, a crying flowers boss. Oh man, I don't know about that. It was like <laughs> I just I have now we have a dead lady crying blood that makes flowers bloom question mark. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. guess this is a boss fight question mark. Oh, that was like a normal person, but yeah, yeah. And then everybody's like, Oh, you helped the town, so go meet Yusty again. Yep. All right, so after you feed her you go you and Hanzo go back to Yasi and you find out that he killed his family, and his daughter ran away to become a ninja. 
She has a nice rabbit guarding spirit. Classic story. This happens yeah. all the time. Everyone's always killing their family just to be cool. Yeah. And <laughs> when you meet him, it's he, played out now. It's just <laughs> it's so lame. He waxes poetic like fucking what's his name from last week about war. Oh, yeah. He's, that, he's acting coat. all high and mighty yeah. and shit. Oh, I'm trying to make a world without war by killing everybody who doesn't agree with me. So you're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> But I, do it, right? but I'm looking for Kelly. So yeah, you tell him about that. He says, well, he's probably an Edo. And you're like, oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? So boom, right. you go to Edo, Edo. And you run into Okatsu. And she's possessed by Kelly at this point. Oh, you, you first have to beat Honda. E Honda? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, he's With he, the fist. You beat Honda and then Oka, Okatsu. Oh, yeah, they're both possessed. They're both by possessed, yeah. yeah. Honda was uh, Yasu's general with the deer. Oh, that's right, Guardians. yes. But then you beat them, and then Kelly is there, and he's like, oh, well, I'll just kill your daughter. Yeah, I'm taking her with me. And Yasu's like, who the fuck cares? I yeah. killed my whole family already. <laughs> like, What's one daughter? <laughs> so then he knocks her off a cliff, and then... He's like the... Kaiser Soze of the Sengoku period. Is he? He showed the men of will what his will really was. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Didn't think of that. But yeah, then you go, you save her, save her life. You dive off the cliff because th- how's that going to save her? Right. I don't know, but you did. And then you go, t- I have fighting a winged guy who had like a. Well, you go to like. A war. It's yeah, like it's, a big it's like battle. in the middle of a battle. Yeah, they go in like it's a huge battle between Yasu and uh Mitsunari. Is this the battle of Sekugahara Oni? I think so, yes. Yeah. Nice. And Fukushima Castle. Yes. Perfect pronunciation. <laughs> you guys are really crushing this. <laughs> Damn proud of both of you. Thanks. Yeah, but you fight a guy <laughs> with Yadagarasu, a crow spirit. Oh, is that what it is? He's kinda cool though. He looked kind. Yeah, the crow was neat. It had like three legs. Yeah, I didn't understand that, but that's cool. That's pretty cool. It's there's the there's just a battle going on. If I yeah, it's the big battle. It's, everything's coming to a head, and then the forces are pinned down. So you're like, I'm gonna go after Kelly. Yeah, then you have to fight one of his generals. I guess it's Otani. One of Misari Mitsunari's generals. Yeah, I, I have dual wield guy who would be Otani. Yes. Yes. All right. He's sort of a butterfly girl type guardian spirit. Yeah, you beat him, and then you beat another one, too. Sekur, Sek, I don't know. Well, Mitsunari is talking to Shima, and they're like, oh, you should surrender oh, yeah. and get your ass kicked. He's like, you should retreat. And he's like, fuck no. And then Shima's like, I'm just going to go <laughs> and fight this guy. He's like, I'll do fuck it. You. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. He's a classic big big Japanese boss from these games. Shima Sakon, something yeah. like that. He's got a tiger spirit. Yeah, he's pretty badass, too. So you beat him. <laughs> And Kelly's talking to Mitsunari, and he's like, dude, all your guys are dying anyway. How about you just let me sacrifice 300 of them? And I'll bring everybody back. And we'll animate this fucking giant skeleton demon. <laughs> he doesn't use those exact words? No, because he calls but... it whatever its name is in uh, Japanese. Yeah, I don't remember if I wrote it down anywhere. So he animates this gigantic skeleton, and there's it's reanimating all the dead warriors, I guess. Yeah. Him to one giant thing. Yeah. But you fight it and destroy it. You destroy it with the help of Hanzo and Takai. Yeah. Because. For sure. You needed them to stop the magic. And you uh, chase after Kelly to Mount Ibuku. Yeah. Where you run into Mitsunari now. Oh, yeah. You do that first. Sorry. Yes. Is he about to give up? Yeah. And doesn't Kelly kill him? And Kelly's like, no, no, no. And he like stabs him. And then he becomes half yokai. And you have to beat his ass, which you do because yeah. you're Irish. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fighting around the world. Fighting. So you beat him, but he doesn't die. And he just starts coming around, like, right? Yeah. You know. Yossi's like, yeah, come on. This uh, is what we were trying to and do. He tells you Kelly's plan is to resurrect Oda no- Nabunaga. Yes. And keep, the, keep Jap- Japan at war so he can get more Amarita. Exactly. 
So, and he's going to Mount Ibuki. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Where else would you go? So chase after him. So you get there, and he's tr- he's in the middle of his resurrection shenanigans, and you stop him, and then you fight Yasuke, who has a giant panda spirit with him. Yeah, was was his yep. name? Did they give him a name? I think it was Yasuke. Yeah, I, I, don't I have know. that written down. I don't know. The, when I when I looked it up, it, they just called him the Obsidian Samurai. Oh, uh, and he had a panda for a. Yeah, maybe that was the name of the panda spirit. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Write us and let us know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. <laughs> so you beat him, and then you catch up to Kelly again. And this time he did resurrect Nobunaga. And then you fight Nobunaga, and he's just too good. He just kicks your he's ass. He's got an awesome peacock guardian spirit, too. I know. That was pretty badass. He was peacocking all around. I get it. Oh, I just put that <laughs> oh, yeah, together. Yeah. But uh, yeah. he kicks your ass. Yeah. And then and he's, he's going to kill you. He's, he's like, got you at the blade's end. And then he stopped and he's like, I don't have to listen to you, Kelly. Go to hell. Yeah, he's like, I don't work for you, Kelly, <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> I, I, love, I thought that was a great moment. It was. Like, what, did you think because you resurrected me, I just do whatever the fuck you say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, ah, uh, I'm going to leave. He's like, you know who I am, right? That's why you like, resurrected I me. Have to do any of this? Like I'm just gonna roll. <laughs> yeah. Like that's peace. Taking my peacock and leaving. Yeah, and then I guess he doesn't even fight in the war or anything anymore. No, he just disappears. He just leaves, and then you have to fight Kelly. Yep. And then I guess you beat the shit out of Kelly, and then he takes Suarez. He, yeah, he gets Shershi. <laughs> and, and uses his Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Ouroboros and Shershi. Combined to Jesus Christ. resurrect Yamada <laughs> no Araki. Yes, Yamada no Araki. The giant Hydra type monster. Eight headed dragon that came out of the water. Everyone knows that. That's, yeah. yeah, that's this is old shit. That's Yamada like no saying, Araki, everyone. You're treating our listeners like idiots. Come I know. On, I'm sorry. Slap. I'm sorry. I'll stop dumbing it down. So you beat. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. So you beat him. So you beat him. Of course, it wouldn't be a story if he died there. And you find Kelly again, and you kill him. And you find he was getting Amrita for John D. Yep, the English crown. The old English occultist that everybody knows. Yeah. Won't go into it. And once you kill him, you get Shershi back. And you're talking to Hanzo on the beach. And Hanzo's got his sword ready to slice you in half. Fuck yeah, he does. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to bounce before I get killed. Is that cool with you? And Hanzo's like, yeah, that's cool. We'll just tell everybody you're dead. I'll just pretend you're dead. Yeah. Thanks for the help, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's been real. <laughs> you're an outsider, so no one's really going to give a shit yeah. at all. Yasu didn't care. He's Yasu wanted you dead, apparently, because he didn't want anyone to know that... You, yeah. that an outsider helped win the war. It's just like skin coat. <sighs> Obviously. So many parallels. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess that's the end because then Mitsunaru, Mitsunari, he's getting executed. Yeah, he does get executed. Yeah, he does get executed. And that was the beginning of the Edo period. Yeah. Which is a real thing, too. <laughs> Of course, everyone knows that. Most of these people were real, I think. But yeah, a lot. Of, I think everyone was, except William. Was he on something? No. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't think William was real. I don't think there was an Irishman who went to Japan to help <laughs> with the Civil War. <laughs> but according to this story, he was, and they just didn't tell us about him. Yeah, that's true. He was killed. So now it's the Edo period, and it's just humans. Nobody knows anything about yokai, and nope. that's the game. And then. <gasps> Three what? years later, because I guess, credits? guess that's how long it takes to sail from oh, Japan. It's gotta take a long time. Yeah, you're back in England and you confront D, and D's like, "You dummy!" Flips a switch and starts absorbing all his Amrita that he had. Oh shit! Yeah. Then what? Then what? Then and what? He, and he becomes this fucking hundred-eyed beast, and he's like, what? "Oh man, I'm gonna <laughs> kick your ass." And then you beat him. 
cut his eye out. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. He beat him. He goes back to a normal person. And you're like, eh, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to blind you. So you slice his eyes. And then. Now you're going to miss the toilet every time you try and piss. Yeah. Gross. And now you can't see any Amrita. Well, I guess if he absorbed it all, did it just disappear again? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know how, how Amrita works. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's I was a... going to play this game, but now I got to put it off because now I know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just play two. Now. There you go. Yeah, you're ready for the sequel. Hop in. I dare you. So after you beat him, you see, oh, wow, one of those little eyeball orbs is just laying on the ground. So you go over, you touch it, and you get a vision of Hanzo in trouble in battle, about to get stabbed in the back. And you decide... That's it. I'm going back to Japan to save him. I guess. I guess that's where Neo 2 goes. I guess. And that's the end of Neo. That's the end of that chapter. That was a lot of me talking, and I didn't like that. It's your game. <laughs> you, you, you're the host when it's your game. Yeah, no. yeah that's kind of like the unofficial rule now. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. Move it along I noticed that game. the past five weeks. I was like, damn it. I should have picked one easier to speak fucking read names but yeah that's a lot that was a big story with a lot of fucking characters yeah yeah it sure was and the uh and it was hard to tell some of them apart in the, the <gasps> cutscene movie yeah not to be racist yeah but, but yeah, yeah it like was. when people were talking it didn't have who was saying what and no i i love the videos we watch when they have the subtitles and they always have who's talking yeah yeah like it's as a- if it were stage direction i'm like oh that's what Randall says that that guy. I tell you what. Yeah, this would have really helped if they did have the names yeah. next to who was saying it. Yeah, because I forgot who was on what side and what was going on. Sometimes I know because they didn't it, like the video didn't show any in between cutscenes, so you weren't watching. Yeah. Like, wasn't there cutscenes between like chapters? You played it. Yeah, that was what they, that was like the boat traveling. Yeah, just stupid. Sections. like yeah, those two people they'd have yeah. standing just. Yeah, in dialogue. I mean, it was. I mean, I thought it was a pretty neat story. It's just, uh, it was difficult to follow. And then I went on the, uh, the fandom wiki to try and because that's what I'll do sometimes if I don't know who's yeah, who and all. That's what I did, and uh, it was a terrible wiki. Dude, it was awful. Like the the pictures that they used didn't look anything like the actual characters. And so I was like, who the fuck is this? Nope, not this person. Nope, not this. And after like seven clicks, I was like, oh, here they are. I'm not doing this for everybody. No. And then I was I was trying to like read more of the plot and it was kind of nothing they had there about the plot yeah it was just these hey neo fans get on the wiki yeah seriously yeah what the fuck pick it up guys god you can go on any kind of dark souls thing and find out 15 pages on any character and you can't even find out people's <laughs> names in this one. yeah there's, that information isn't even in the game <laughs> <laughs> you have to read the books and shit yeah but uh that's it that's the game yeah. so Let's go ahead and move on to our final thoughts. How about it, guys? All right, let's. Um, let it start with. I started with Doctor Scientist, so you know what? I'll go first. All right. Why well, not? Would you play it? Would you score it? Did the story work for you? Thank you for asking me that one hundred percent natural question. <laughs> uh, let's see. Would I play it? I don't think I would, just because now I know the whole story, and I did not get a very good idea of what the gameplay is like. Is it like a hack and slash type thing, or is it yeah. a? Yeah. Yeah, okay. kind of. So, I mean, would I play it? Maybe, but probably not just because the story and everything going on, it doesn't really super interest me. Fair. And there's and there's a billion other games to play. If time weren't a factor, would I play it? Sure. I mean, you're stuck at home. That's true, but the backlog is... <laughs> <laughs> the backlog is uh, The Division 2 and Chell. No, that's, that's not even getting to the backlog yet. That's just a bunch of nonsense. That's the front log. <laughs> that's the front log, yeah. So, uh, b- w- would I play it if time were not an issue? Sure. Did the story work for me? I think overall it did just because it was a simple story about going to get your spirit guardian back and stopping Kelly. And it just so happened to take place around a huge civil war. So, what did the story work for me? I guess enough of it did. There was a lot of questions about characters and who the fuck was talking and what the fuck was happening. But if I played the game, I... Probably would have got a much better idea. Probably, of that. Yeah. maybe. <laughs> so I it are shouldn't there, lose there, points are for there that because I did. Game where you can talk to people, like that aren't cutscenes. I think people might talk while you're fighting and stuff. Okay, like while you're with them. I don't, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. I don't really stage. remember. 
No, it's just, it definitely, I, I understand where you're coming from, scientists, because it seems like a game where a lot of shit was explained in, like, text or other, like, conversations. Yeah. or Like, I didn't feel like I got the whole piece of the puzzle. Yeah. yeah. So I think it would have been a more rewarding experience if I played it. So what did I score it? I mean, we're talking about just story. Uh, the fact it was simple was also good and bad. A lot of cool monsters. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it an 11. Ooh. I think that's a fair score. I think it was, and especially for something that's not in my wheelhouse at all, like I never would have considered playing this before today. Now I a little bit kind of am, or at least the second one. Mm -hmm. all right. So I'm going to go with 11. Classic story. Happened during the Civil War. Uh, I don't know why you got to be an Irish guy coming here to do all this. Yeah, that was who, unnecessary. Uh, <laughs> who also, did you realize he... Only speaks in English, but he completely understands all Japanese. Well, the, the guardian spirit let him understand it in the beginning. Oh, okay. yeah, but he, I just the guardian spirit's part. not with him. But I guess it still lets him understand yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Because he the, the spirit even says something like, "I'll let you understand the language of this." Uh, but there's definitely a cut scene where they didn't understand him. Yeah. Yes. And he's like, "You listen to this asshole?" And he's like, "What did he say?" Uh, he said, "You're great." Yeah. <laughs> like, it sounded like he said more than that. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. That's all he said. No, nope, no, no. That was it. Anyway, so those are my two cents. How about we kick it over to you, Dr. Scientist? Would you play it? Would you score it? Did the story work for you? I will play it. I would have started it yesterday, but I didn't want to watch this movie and then play the game. You know. Gotcha. It was free on PS Plus once, Yeah, right? I downloaded it. I think that's I, how I, I got I just, it. I just pushed it back in the queue of things to play. Right. Uh, do I like the story? It is simple, like you said. It's kind of like, reminds me a little bit of uh, Assassin's Creed's where you're in a historic place, but you're just kind of tangential to the whole thing that's happening around you. Yeah, just doing your own thing. Yeah. Even though you have some kind of influence on it, you're not really. So I kind of like that. I do like the whole Chinese, Japanese mythos stuff. Because, I don't know, I always like mythologies and games. And yeah, and this is like true mm -hmm. to actual mythology. Yeah. And plus all the spirits are spirits from like the black tortoise and the white tiger and all that yeah so yeah I, I, the story works for me I guess enough that I'd be interested in actually playing it I, hopefully if I play it I understand a lot more and uh, <laughs> probably watching this beforehand will make me help go through the game a little bit easier understanding what's yeah, going on probably. <laughs> yeah I, I would I would hope so Jesus <laughs> but uh, yeah other than trying to keep all the characters together and stuff. It was still good. I also gave it an 11. Oh, no, I'm it's, terrified. We're on the same page. I, it had stuff I liked, but it wasn't groundbreaking or mind blowing in any way. It's kind fair. of a simple story. That's fair. So what about you chump slap? Would you play it? Would you score it? Did the story work for you? Well, funny you'd ask that. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Completely unprompted. <laughs> Would I play it? Um, I already have. Never finished it, though, but I was pretty close to the end, according to this movie. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you said you beat the frog. I was like, there's not much long after the frog until no. the game's over. I remember the frog boss, and then there was another one you could just optionally do. It was the same boss, but he was in a different spot. Yeah, there's a lot of optional stuff that wasn't covered in, from yeah. what I saw from the wiki, at least. Yeah, it's it, the game was weird, and that once you beat a level, you could go back to it and play it. Like there were different challenges you could play on that level, and there was like a daily level that you could you had to beat with like harder enemies and stuff. It was always, pre pretty neat. I always thought this was gonna be like Dark Souls, but it didn't seem like it at all. No, it's like little levels of Dark Souls, I guess. You know what I mean? Like more like Demon Souls ish. Like, say you had a world map, and you could pick different spots to just like demon souls. play a single level Where you can and they weren't all connected oh well they weren't demon souls either oh. yeah. well <laughs> i guess yeah but yeah i might i might go back and finish it but i'm sure i forgot everything i need to know to beat the end now yeah try using those combos again yeah exactly <laughs> did the story work for me yeah, I thought it was neat. Like you guys said, it was simple. You were just doing your thing, and it just so happened to be all atmospheric, ancient Japanese mythology during a war that actually mm -hmm. happened. 
all that jazz. That was pretty neat. There were too many characters that I just like, <laughs> oh, that guy. If they didn't have their own spirit animals with them, I wouldn't have been able to tell who was who. That's basic. That's why I wrote them down. I wrote rabbit girl. Yeah. It was like, oh, it was a rabbit. Oh, that's that guy. Okay. I get it. So, yeah, I'd say the story worked for me. It was neat. It was easy. <laughs> easy to follow. <laughs> easy. Yeah. For the most Super. part. Uh, would I score it? I gave it a 16. Oh! Wow. Because it, All right. it's it's one of those games. It's like a hack and slash like level Dark Souls-y type game. And they dropped... They drop like your loot and it was di- like borderlandsy yeah i saw that well, i watched the speed run like they all they had different rarity to the swords and there's like so many swords that you could get they all had like special things and you could fuck with them and make your own it, this is one of the games mm-hmm. i'm glad i watched the speed run ahead of time because yeah. a lot of the cutscenes for the bosses in the cutscene movie were just like 10 seconds of the boss showing up and then the boss dying. Yeah, they didn't even show you anything. <laughs> I mean, it would have been neat to yeah, see a little. There was definitely parts where I'm watching I'm like, did you did you fight this person? <laughs> what, what just... I guess we did. Yeah. yeah it'd be, it'd it be was... a pretty fucking boring game if they're like, check this out, I'm the cool guy, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden they're just gone. <laughs> I'm like, that's a weird game choice. All right. Yeah, it hits all those. It hits the hack and slash. It hits the looter. It's it's challenging. It so, was pretty neat. So, so. what's the thirty eight total? Thirty eight, which gives a which is the exact same score as Legacy of Cain Blood Omen. Ooh. It is one above Parasite Eve. Ooh. 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 And one below Dante's Inferno. Uh well then I'll give it an eighteen. Just get it slightly <laughs> above <laughs> yeah. Dante's Inferno. <laughs> which is nah, weird because I gave Dante's Inferno a twelve and this one an eleven. I know I had, to get, I had to get you guys a couple more points there because I All actually right. did play this game and I enjoyed it. So, All right. All right. Well, that's going to take us then to our favorite segment of every week, which is Scientist Tom Hanks Lock of the Week. Every week we ask Dr. Scientist for a piece of Tom Hanks content. Uh, <laughs> yes. So he... Uh, has given us movies, museum exhibits, all kinds of shit. So this week, Dr. Scientist, what well, do you first got? First off, I'd like to know if anybody can follow our description of what happened in Neo to let us know. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Please I'm, don't. <laughs> yeah. Because I had trouble following it, but I, I'd love to know if somebody else could. But uh, I picked a, a movie of Tom Hanks that kind of resonates with the things going on in the world today. It's a league of their own. <laughs> sure, of course, obviously. Oh, because there's no Cause, baseball. Yeah, because there's no baseball. <laughs> although every sport's canceled. Fair. And League of Their Own is the true story of what happened during World War II when baseball was canceled, so they had women play baseball. Starring Absolutely. Gina Davis and Lori Petty and Madonna. All star cast. Yeah. Rosie O'Donnell's yeah, in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I... he said all star cast and then Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> The Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> but it's a good flick. Yeah, definitely worth right. a watch. Yeah, that's, that's your Tom Hanks lock of the week. It's a sure thing. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a good time. Tom Hanks is a drunken peas lot. Anyway, <laughs> so that'll take us to our favorite segment of every week, which is Chump Slaps. Fuck, Mary kill. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Every week, <laughs> Dr. Scientist and I pick three characters from the game we just talked about, and Chump Slap gets to decide if he's going to have sex with them, marry them, or murder them. So, Scientist, I believe it's my turn it to is. do two. You come, you come up with two. I came to the table prepared today. Oh, Ooh, that's like a first time ever. Interesting. I know. I, I fit, dude, honestly, like, I was not going to remember any of these characters or names <laughs> unless I... Unless I did my FMK immediately. So we're definitely going with Osaku. All right. Yeah. Okatsu? Okatsu. Okatsu. Okay. The rabbit girl. Two different people. <laughs> the rabbit girl with the blue. Gotcha. Okay. Okatsu. And then we're also going to go with Danjo, the tea man. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. Holding his fucking tea orb in front of you like, it looks like a bell, but it's for tea. <laughs> that guy's fucking weird. I got I to gotta hear your take. Uh, Dr. Scientist. 
Oh man. I know it's a tough one. I I wouldn't I would never tell you what to do, Doctor Scientist. <laughs> but I feel like we need some villain in here. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out there. There's so many of them. Uh, there's there's not really that many. <laughs> well, we got spider bosses, centipede oh, bosses, bosses, frog boss. I was actually gonna just say, hmm. uh, talk amongst yourself while I figure about this. Think about this for a little bit. So, what's your favorite sport there, Trump Slap? Do you like uh, I don't know, cricket? What's your deal? <laughs> Pinball. <laughs> Pinball. That's All right, awesome. Never mind. Okay, what do you got? Uh, how about Yukiona, the Ice Queen? Okay, oh, so right. we got Yukiona, the Ice Queen, Donjo, the Tea Man, and Okasu, the la- your love interest with the rabbit. Yeah, I don't sort understand. Of. Yeah, she she seems sad that you left at the end. Yeah, but she doesn't fuck with samurai, and he's a samurai, but he's not like all he's the. He's not others. a real samurai. Know. He's just that he's an Irish guy who I knows how to swing a sword. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> sure do, bro. <laughs> Enough stalling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck, marry, kill. Let's hear it. Well, we're going to marry Okatsu. Oh, cliche. Well, cause, because she's not taken. And All right. Oh, that was the reason. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, the butterfly lady, she's already got a husband. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you had morals in this thing. And fuck, marry, kill. <laughs> of course I do. It doesn't change who I am inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Didn't you marry the mob boss for money? We're not talking about that now. He also also married the guy from Prey for money. (laughs) That's right. He's going for the cushy, cushy life. (laughs) Well, she is now the emperor's daughter or whatever. So kind of disowned. I mean, he was a dick to her. Yeah, but maybe he's got. All right, stop stalling. Whatever. Maybe he got money. (laughs) I don't know. I'm marrying her. Who'd you fucking kill? (sighs) Ah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fuck the tea guy. <laughs> yeah, finally. He loves tea, and I just love to like tea bag him just to show him what's up, show him Ow! his boss. <laughs> and, Sounds hot. And AF. I just couldn't, I couldn't fuck the married woman. I'm sorry, she's too cold. So you, so you'd kill her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, her husband's already dead. So. Oh yeah, so that makes it okay. She want, she wants to be with him. She wanted to be dead. And she was resurrected by Kelly, and I don't like Kelly, so I'm just going to re- undo whatever he did. <laughs> okay, Trump and Obama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's summarize that again. What were the <laughs> oh, You're going to fuck Danjo the T-Man. Fuck Danjo the T-Man. Marry, You're gonna marry Okatsu, Okatsu. And murder the Ice Butterfly Princess. I no. bet you Danjo's in the tantric shit. I know. He's, <laughs> he's a fucking weirdo. I'm sure he's got some crazy yeah. shit. Plus, he could just, like, feed me some of his drug tea and... Yeah, you'll be fed something. Fuck, like, stone test bunnies. <laughs> okay, moving on! That was <laughs> jump slaps. Fuck, marry, kill. Um, let's say someone had an idea uh, how to make a super awesome Malcolm X tea so you could fuck, like, a test bunny, as you said it. Where would they send that email to, uh, Malcolm Sir Jump X slaps? tea? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't know. It's a real, it's a real thing. Look it up. Right. I dare you. Well, you just send that or any email to plottytime at gmail dot com. More fanfic, please. Yes, yeah. definitely more erotic fanfic. I mean, we got some really good erotic fanfic in the other day, but guys, I think you can step it up. Yeah, no more Andrew Dice Clay though. <laughs> yeah, there's not enough T men. <laughs> Uh, let's say uh, they wanted to get to us a little bit faster about their fanfic, and they had ideas, they were pitching thoughts. Uh, where would they get to us at the socials there, Dr. Scientist? Well, they'd sign into Twitter or Instagram and go to at Plotty Time and send us something. Perfect. That uh, does it for us, so get out there, play some games, and I don't know, hang out with your local team man Don't leave your house. Yeah, don't hang out with a local team man You're going to be spreading the virus. Wash your hands. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace out, guys. (laughs) Stay safe.